Sean Ray here with Bob Chick at the conclusion of the 2015 Arnold Classic regarding the 212 pound division as well as the figure and the fitness. fitness. So let's get to the let's get to the meat and potatoes. The the uh, fitness, not so much of an upset there. No, surprise. Uh, no surprise, no upset there. <laughs> I think everybody and their mother had Oksana Grishina coming in there as the favorite. Uh, your Olympia champion, current, and probably for the next 20 years or so, as long as she wants to do this. Sean, she's so far ahead of the pack. I mean, just, just her level of expertise. Uh, she came out tonight and did a routine, literally starting with ballet. Yes. An actual ballet. That wasn't like a ballet theme. I mean, she was on her toes with the shoes, the whole thing. Um, you, you can't just say enough about her, you know, much like Kelly Ryan was so dominant back then in the routine round, even though she wasn't winning Olympias. Um, she's just, again, she, she is a, a, an entirely different notch when it comes to the routine itself. Yeah, and we had to watch her wait patiently as Adela Garcia was racking yeah. up eight victories at the Fitness Olympia, seven here at the International Show. Oksana actually got her first Arnold Classic over in Europe when That's she went right. over to Madrid. And now it seems like with the Olympia title, the Arnold title, everyone else, like you said, is playing catch up. One of those girls who's just constantly knocking on the door, Tangie Johnson, had to take another one on the chin. And, you know, you, you can't say enough about Tangie. I mean, her longevity in the sport, I mean, she's been on top for a long time. Uh, you know, she, she's done very well for herself in her career. She's very competitive. The, the difference is it's just, it's just a difference of, of uh, excellence and a, and a difference of uh, the routine round. Um, I, I almost guarantee you that Tanji was probably ahead of, of her in the, in the physique realm, but that doesn't count as much uh, since they changed the rules a few years ago. Now it's, it's uh, three quarters basically a routine and one quarter physique. So, um, you know, hats off to Tanji. She did good, but came up a little short here. Speaking of physiques, we watched a little bit of an upset tonight. We watched Candace Keene get taken down. Well, uh, listen, she was probably the pre-contest favorite, multi-winner here at the Arnold. Uh, we've seen her on the Olympia stage many times, Sean. She's always a contender, always in great shape. Did not quite hit it dead on this one. She was a little bit off, but it, the competition was so close and so tight between those girls up there. And you, you had pretty much the Olympia lineup on, uh, on there, uh, with the exception of your Olympia champion, Nicole Wilkins. Um, so it was tough, man, and they all nailed it dead on. They were all almost 100%. Uh, so Candace ends up in third place here. Nothing she should be ashamed about uh, because the two girls ahead of her, Candace Lewis, was absolutely just stunning and outstanding. Um, and Camila Rodriguez finally in the winner's circle. Another one that's been knocking on that door, Sean. It looked, looked absolutely her all-time best here tonight and was rewarded with an Arnold Classic title. Absolutely. It was a great show. Actually, I love to see a contest where actually the champion can get knocked out. It doesn't happen very often, so it's amazing when it does. And Kamala Rodriguez, a deserving champion tonight. Speaking of deserving champions, Jose Raymond finally got his comeuppance. How about that? He's won everything. And just a year ago, this guy was eighth place in Arizona at the Europa, and we thought he was pretty much done. Well, Jose didn't. I mean, he blew <laughs> he blew one show. He, he had a bad night. You know, just like a, a, you know, a guy in baseball goes out there and goes over four. Right. Doesn't mean it's a bad player. He just blew it. Uh, and Jose didn't make up any excuses. He's like, look, it, I just completely blew it. Tried some different stuff. Didn't work. I'm going back to what works. And guess what? Ever since then, Sean, he's been on a tear out there. This was close. This was close with these guys, uh, much like the figure competitors. These guys all pretty much nailed it. Eduardo Correa ends up in third place, shredded head to toe, not put together the best out of all that crew, um, but rewarded with a third place finish. He did Tati Yamagishi, always, always excellent and polishing his routines and all that. Excellent presentations all the time. Uh, ends up coming up short, no pun intended, on the 212 uh, in the second place. But again, nothing he should be ashamed about because Jose Raymond was outstanding, man. We've uh, This is probably as equal as I've ever seen Jose in terms of what he brings out to his best right. on that stage. So he gets rewarded with the championship. Charles Dixon also in that mix and, and, uh, Aaron, and Aaron Clark. Uh, so these, these guys, I tell you, all bringing them, man. I think out of all of them, Aaron Clark was probably the most disappointed. I mean, he wears his heart on his sleeve. But Charles Dixon, nothing to be disappointed about. Yeah. Very muscular and full. Still needs the detail. But tonight, uh, Jose Raymond walked away. I still thought he was a little bit blocky. I mean, he's got to be very careful. One extra pound, and he's going to be out. Well, here's the thing. they they all missing just a little bit of something. Uh, Eduardo was definitely the most conditioned, uh, but he's got the atrophy in the one arm, I think, from that tricep that he tore a couple years ago. The legs look like they're a little bit down in size, uh, especially against the big upper body. So he's got a couple of things you look at. Uh, then you go to a sec you know, uh, your second place finisher, uh, Hidetata. Hidetata isn't really missing anything in per se, but he's not really put together the best either you know he's not the most uh, uh, symmetrical guy that i've ever seen um but again he's but he's very polished and, and you know brings a great routine well that only counts so much on as you know still the best physique overall 
uh, which is always what we talk. Who had the least amount of weaknesses? That man was Jose Raymond. Well, we appreciate your expert commentary, Bob. Let's get a you rookie's commentator in here. Not so much a rookie. You're a sophomore now. You're not a rookie now. rookie anymore. Absolutely. How did you see this? Because that was a hotly contested show. I was sitting in the middle of a crowd, and literally one of three people could have won that contest, but ultimately Jose Raymond walks off with the title. Yeah, you know, as Bob had you know alluded to, there's – there's not a guy up there that's got perfect structure, uh, at least in the top three. Hitty Tata, a little bit top heavy. Uh, Jose Raymond, a little bit blocky. And Eduardo's physique, a little bit top heavy as well in discrepancy in the arm size. Um, without Flex Lewis being up there and not having an example of a 212 guy that flows real well, Jose's blockiness doesn't really stand out as much of a weakness because the other guys up there aren't, you know, structurally superior to him. So to me, you know, not having Flex Lewis here, obviously, you know, Flex would have been a favorite to win. But aside from that, when comparing physiques, you know, it was a, it was a favorable thing for Jose Raymond. I think he was very deserving of the win. I don't know if it was the lighting or if everybody got better tonight, but these guys did look noticeably better tonight to me. Um, with that being across the board, I'm assuming it's it's the lighting and stuff. Absolutely but. the lighting because, remember, they're competing at the prejudging in the expo where it's like grocery store lighting so that lighting was very favorable across the board what does he Tata got to do to catch jose because if he can catch jose he'll be standing up there with james flex lewis in the end potentially i don't know that Hidi Tata can catch Jose, and, and the reason why I say that is, is we saw Fuller Hidi Tata today. As Peter Heads has said, said this morning, he's not quite as razor sharp as we've seen him in the past, but he's Fuller. I like this version of Hidi Tata, more of a reminiscent of how he looked when he was competing in the Open. That being said, I think he's got to bring up his legs just a little bit yet to match Jose, but I know he's right at the top of that 212 division. I guess he weighed in like at 211 or something. So in order to bring up his legs, uh, you know, I, I guess the only thing he could really do, bring up his legs and then cut back a little bit on the body fat, which he doesn't have that much to lose. So I, I think if he balances out his physique a little, he's going to have a hard time even making 212. We're going to see him right back to where we saw him a few years ago. Well, there's only one other athlete worth mentioning here that could be a potential threat to that Olympia title, and that was uh, Eduardo Correa. And Eduardo Correa, I mean, onion thin skin, very ripped and detailed. The legs were kind of slender, uh, like Bob alluded. The tricep, tricep injury was very apparent. But there's not a whole lot more that he can do to close that gap. I mean, Jose, I mean, uh, Eduardo brought, I thought, arguably was one of his better packages today. Yeah, with the injury that Eduardo had to his arm, I don't, I don't think there's any way possible to get it to match the other one. And again, he's, he's a little bit of a top-heavy guy. He's, he's got incredible legs from a conditioning standpoint, from a separation standpoint. They don't quite have the sweep that Jose has, or especially a Flex Lewis. So as far as Eduardo trying to chase an Olympia title, unless we saw a Flex Lewis who was very off and a Jose who was very off, I, I don't know that he's going to be able to sneak into that top spot. That being said, he's one of the top three guys in the entire world. Nothing to hang your head about. Well, I mean, in victory, Jose Raymond serves notice to James Flex Lewis coming up at this year's 51st anniversary of the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia weekend in September. One other X factor we haven't talked about, and that's Kevin English is returning. Kevin English is a former Olympia showdown champion, missed last year's due to being ill. So the stage is getting set. Come the Olympia Showdown in September, we have several other 212 competitions where who knows might show up at one of those shows and shock us all. But right now, it still looks like firmly that James Flex Lewis is the 212 champion, but tonight belongs to Jose Raymond here in Columbus, Ohio. For Big Bob Chicarillo and Dan Bay, David Bay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> David yeah, David Bay, yeah. who met Hulk Hogan today. I, I must be a soft. <laughs> I must be a soft. I didn't remember my name. It's yeah. late, man. We're gonna do this all over again tomorrow with our open men and our bikini competition. Congratulations to all our winners from MuscularDevelopment.com. David Bay. I'm Sean Ray. We're out.